4,500 horsepower, high RPMs and vibration. These monster machines experience extreme heat, vibration, and torque. Just finishing an event is an accomplishment. The tractors compete on a very tight schedule, and any number of small component failures could spell disaster for the team and end their chances for winning. Run what you brung, and hope you brung enough. It's just like uh, every other competition. It evolved from horse pulling. Some men would compete to see who had the most powerful horse team. But horse pulling never dreamed of this kind of horsepower. When the tractor took over the job of farming and hauling loads, men began to compete to see who had the most powerful tractor. I probably would have raced. And I did racing with uh, hill climbing, like Pike's Peak type hill climbing. Um, that didn't go over well with the boss, my, my lovely wife for 47 years. So this was a safe sport and this is something that I could do. And uh, we had our share of, uh, of wins with that. The idea is not so much on the horsepower as how you've hooked all of the horsepower up. These mechanical geniuses have taken the basic tractor to a whole new level. I guess I, I like working in my shop and dreaming up ideas that you think will work and that maybe nobody else has tried. And if they have tried, they failed, why did they fail? And proving that it, it'll work. The thing that I love the most about tractor pulling is uh, the people you meet and the friends you, that have endured over the last 30 years. Being able to come up with an idea and seeing that it works. And hopefully it's a better idea than somebody else's. And three engines in line, they haven't figured it out yet. But I have. The challenge is not to break and keeping it running long enough. Certainly the more high powered tractors their life expectancy is a lot shorter. We try to get through the entire season without having to rebuild an engine, where some of the competition, after about 10 or 15 runs, they have to change rods, bearings, stuff like that. He who pulls the farthest wins. Time has nothing to do with it. When you stop, the flag goes up and you're all done. If you made squirrely moves, then the distance becomes longer. A straight move, the distance becomes shorter. So if you can get straight as an arrow, you're going to do better because every time you touch the brakes, you lose horsepower. A steady hand, an eye for engineering, and nerves of steel keeps the competition pulling. The pull isn't over until I've won.